And the way the famous uh, is the bad lifestyle. Uh, Check uh, it out. Uh, and the one and twos, you don't want it with the kid when I freestyle, cause I love this shit. I'm mic'd up, got the camera on, I'm spitting. Check it right now, don't grab the mic, it's not, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it right there. <laughs> yeah, we have fun with that once in a while. Well, let's let's make sure this doesn't seem. There we go. All right, that was already recording. Check it out. Good. Check it out. All right, so what up? We're back. It's been a minute since our last podcast. Yeah, we're here live. It's been a few. It's been like two months or something, right? It's been yeah. a little bit. But anyways, we're back. We've got the show. The show. We got Manny on the yeah. show today. Manny Santiago. What up, guys? East Coasters know what's up. Yeah, we got Ramsey. Yeah. Big yeah. Ramsey pie guy. Um, we're gonna give a shout out to Focus. Focus Skate Mag. Yeah, focus. Make sure East you Coast. scoop it up. And this oh, one's yeah. got Willie Akers. Fuck East yeah. Coast. Yeah, Willie's yeah. the shit. I was yeah. hyped to see him today. So. Yeah, he was cruising on the park, killing it. And Papa Akers, too, killing yeah. it. Um, so. Ramsey got a spread in here. I got a couple photos. Yeah, yeah a couple little shots in no here. No tricks, but. Hey, as long as you got something. <laughs> it's like the buddy. smallest little picture. Of you know, look, buddy? I mean, this is the Prince of Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, right that's up. right. Man, he's in that's, this one, too. Yeah, the day, they wrote all this up. Oh, he did. Sick. Yeah. Oh, wow, sick. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, yeah. but oh yeah. And then uh, yeah, look at so, Ramsey's right there. Check you oh, out. Yeah. A shout out. <laughs> Boom. Check it. That's one number one. Boom. It's my back number two. And bow. Smoking a cigarette number three. <laughs> Damn, big. Call my spread, baby. Yeah, Yo, you better get your photo instead of being up. <laughs> For real. You, you, can, you know, buddy. You know, buddy. You got a buddy squint. Yeah, yeah. He was out and staying with. Yeah, he's, he's a cool LA. ass dude. He's a cool yeah. ass dude. Shout out to buddy. And we got the Shadow Show podcast ad in there too. Yeah. So, mm. cool. focus, so focus, focus holding it support down. focus East Coast yeah. for sure. That's um, all. That's all you need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Many notes. Um, also, we got World Industries. Check out the website worldindustries.com. RP yeah. Best, one of the best dudes. He like is. he was killing it, it in the team manager contest. He yeah. rolled his ankle though. Yeah, and a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but, but I saw some shit. I never seen him skate person. I told him I was like, dude, you just need to like skate every day and like just know what you want to do next year and then you're gonna win the thing dude well, exactly it's good Prepare one year behind it's, it's yeah good. he's got style too rp kills it yeah man. um yeah so check out world industries footwear and skateboard decks and get the the great cover-up pope board that is killing it man <laughs> things gnarly um also all i need apparel boom check yeah. it uh if you've watched the podcast before then you know that that's my brand and, and that's uh, all you need that's all you need to get so that's check out the website need. All I need skate dot com. Mm. Um, what else do we got for? Uh, we got Focus World. All I need. Um, Solstice, Solstice baby. Skate Shop, man. New Bedford, Mass. New Bedford, Mass. Yeah. yeah. Definitely have to check out that shop if you're in Massachusetts. You been? Uh, you know what's funny? I've never been into the skate shop because yeah. we always go into Taunton to skate the park. Yeah. But I've never been to the Solstice. Shop. Well, next time you come out, we'll go Solstice and No Prop because yeah. they're on the same block, and then we'll go to the DIY, DIY, spot. DIY spot for sure. Okay. So it'll be so, fun, dude. Yeah, um, we'll do it on the street podcast. That'd be tight. Okay. Well, actually, that's what I forgot to say was this is a special podcast because we're in Tampa right now. Yeah, Tampa it's Pro, on the man. road. Tampa Pro. This is the first one that we've done out of state, I guess. Yeah. 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 Ooh, Still, it. actually, Steve Rodriguez was in NYC, yeah. but yeah, Tampa's yeah, a lot further yeah. away. <laughs> More mileage. Um, how you feeling about Tampa? You ready to skate? Uh, I mean, it's always nerve nerve wracking. It's Tampa, you know. It's, yeah. You walk in and you feel like. All the years of skating go through you like a ghost. Like they it, it, it hit you like poof, poof, poof. So you step out on the course and you get those quivers and stuff. I mean, I'm never ready for anything. You healthy uh, right now? I am healthy and I'm That's happy good. and I'm skating all right. And t- actually, today I skated a lot better than yesterday. And I've just been focusing on my run instead of just going out there and trying to do every trick I can. I've just been focusing on each trick for each thing and then preparing for when they call my name and my heart drops uh, you find it hard like when you get out there and there's just like a lot of dudes to get warmed up and get in the rhythm and like yeah because once you get in the rhythm you want to keep going and then you could at, at max you can maybe do three tricks and then you run into somebody yeah for sure. so to get the flow going you have to be there at nine o'clock in the morning like luckily i went there today at i think we were there at nine thirty, and it was only three people on the course and uh, one yeah. of them wasn't skating so it was like yeah, the place to yeah, yourself. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Once I, I took a good slam and it woke me right up. Yeah. And then I was ready. Does. Yeah, I got Always I got does. elbow burn oh, on the quarter pipe. Yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. I got um, a good slam did, today. Yeah, did you, I was going to say, did you see the TM thing? No, I was eating. Uh, oh, man. it's all good. It's all good. Sorry I just about that. Slam pretty What happened? Hard. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, shit, like, tried to power slide over like the little fucking. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Why are you getting up? Why are you getting up? Why are you getting up? 
you were but, killing it, then you yeah, passed it. I shit. landed my kickflip, second run, so I was happy. That's yeah. all that matters. That's His it. first run, he blew it completely. Horrible. Didn't land anything. Horrible. But I could tell, you know, like, some when you first start skating contests, and you're, like, feeling good, and then you get out there, and you, you get really nervous. You get the jitterbug. You don't land nothing. See, That's I, what thought, I thought it was going to be, like, a jam. Like, and yeah. I was going to be able to hide in the corner, yeah. you know, like, pop some tricks. tricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then they're, like, saying, all right, first up. And I was, like... But, and you were first guy. <laughs> no, I was like fourth or fifth, but still, like, yeah. still, I wasn't ready for that. First, but once you got your bearings, you got your second yeah. body land, your kick flip, we're feeling it for it sure. Was all right. It was um, all right. Oh, Andrew Cannon was asking. He wanted to know um, about your diet. You, you're a vegetarian. Yes, I am a vegetarian. Almost four years now. What wow. uh, what provoked that? Just want to uh, be healthy. Yeah, I mean, I always, I was a big chicken wing eater and stuff like that, but I'd always, whenever I eat certain foods, I think of, like, the animals and stuff, and, like, yeah. like scrambled things, I, I eat, like, I'm eating chicken abortion, and, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, little chicken wings, I think of a little chihuahua's leg. Yeah, for So, sure. I, it always, it was in the back of my head, but then it tasted so good that I didn't care, and then, yeah. uh... Well, like when you don't, when you just buy fucking fried chicken, you don't have to deal with like yeah, the, the fact that the animals the, getting yeah, slaughtered yeah, and whatnot, and how they're made nowadays. Yes. But uh, living with Felix, he's he was a vegetarian for a year before I became one. I just he kind of always led by example, you know. He didn't tell me to become a vegetarian, but he just would would uh, enlighten me with stuff like be like, yeah, well, you see, this is a substitute for this because this is why I'm doing it, and then you know, yeah. so eventually, you know, I follow his path. So I kind of took the route and I think it was one of the better things I've done for myself. Oh yeah, you feel healthier? Yeah, yeah, I lost uh, some weight and I lost some, some muscle mass I had, like I used to be a lot bigger and uh, now I I'm more mobile, you know, like yeah. for skating you don't want to be like a big ass buff dude, especially like... That's my problem, uh, I'm yeah. a big buff dude. Man. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. There's a lot of big <laughs> skaters out there. Nothing wrong with it, but he's su I, surprisingly I, flexible, dude. Yeah, and I eat. Sh <laughs> I, eat, I don't want to eat shit in pain. Like I want to be lighter. So if I eat shit, it's like oh, all right, like yeah. one fifty, not one seventy. Dude, Doof! your joints yeah. aren't taking the yeah. hits. Yeah, plus but... I want to skate for a really long time. So I just want to prepare myself now. So when that comes, I'll be a little more ahead of the game. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Um, we're not gonna go hard on you like we did Westgate because Westgate admitted he was a vegetarian. He is. And, uh, he's a veggie. Yeah. No yeah, way. I, that's what I said. We what? Went hard, we went hard on He's him. Juicing. But he went from like skinny scrawny to like cock diesel. He juices. You juice? You juice. You juice? You gotta juice? He swears by juicing. I think that's where he gets his pop from. <laughs> I don't know. Like, not, not juicing like No, not words. like drugs. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> carrots. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Juices, that. yeah, yeah. I, have, uh, I just bought, dude, my juicer cost five, at most 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it. Yeah. He said him and his girl like, crazy. make yeah. like for like... The month, like yeah, yeah. You make and you put it in the fridge and then yep. take it out. Yeah, me and my girl actually, she, she's somewhat a vegetarian. When I'm not around, she'll sneak a little meat in here and there. And make nugget here and there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so speaking to your girl, so. speaking to your girl, you got a baby. How's your baby doing? He's good. He's about to be eight months. He's already almost walking, and it's it it. it it like from time to time I forget I like not that I have a son but I forget what it feels like and then yeah. he'll like surprise me I'm like what I walk in the door and he'll just be like and he'll laugh you know yeah. like by seeing me and you just get this feeling and I was explaining today you just it's like a feeling I've never felt you know like I like just walk over and sit down with him and he's just like ah. <laughs> 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 he's just like little things you know like uh, it's wild it's and what's his name Ocean. Ocean, that's, awesome. that's right. Yeah. I, was, I remember earlier you were talking about him, and I couldn't remember his name, but I knew it was something yeah. like Power, not, not yeah. a normal yeah. name that you hear. Well, yeah. how'd that come about? Well, there's. It started because I I never wanted like a normal name for my child if I something ever had unique. one. Yeah. And uh, I always I always wanted a powerful name, and I have a guy Freddie that lives in Puerto Rico. His son is named Rio, which means river. Yeah. And I would I once I heard that I fell in love with that name. So I was like trying to think of something creative, and I didn't even think of Ocean Howl when I named his name. I just, oh yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I'm like, dude, Ocean's such a sick name. So when then me and M Michelle were talking about it, it's like, oh, I want to name him Damien, and I looked at her like, what? <laughs> six, six, six. That reminds me of the devil. She's like, no, not at all. I'm like, that's crazy. She's like, and then she asked me, what do you think? And I was like, I was like, Ocean. And the complete was, opposite. Yeah, and then she was like, I love it. Oh, and that's it. It was like an instant like, oh yeah. So then, but her parents weren't too fond of it at first, you know, and then, so I'm like, I'm naming emotion whether they like it or not, it's our child, you know, but then we compromised and we gave him David as his middle name. Ocean that's, David. Yeah, because her dad's middle name is David, so. Right, that's a good we name. Compromise. Ocean, dude, be water. Yeah, and you, yeah, you know Bruce what I'm Lee. saying? Oh, yeah, dude, of course. Uh, I have that, that's one of my, on YouTube, I have like four favorite videos, and that's uh, my favorite playlist, and that's one of them. 
Yeah, you like one of my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, that yeah. whole interview, have you ever seen that? Yeah, I have. Like 40 minutes long? With not Bruce the actual Smith. interview, but You I gotta see. watch the whole interview. Because, yeah, like, when he gets into that, it, like, he gets deep and it's and totally deeper, different. Deeper, yeah, yeah, and it's like, damn. That's yeah. why that, that shit was so deep, because, like, yeah. he, he running, hits you. Uh, running water never grows stale. Yeah. It becomes anything. Yeah. You're going to have to be like water, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water, yeah. You, you fill water into the cup. Yep. It becomes the, become cu- the cup. cup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. We got a franchise boy question. Yeah. Uh, uh, I love Doug, but I don't think it's from Jay him. Combs, I think it's about Jay him. Combs. Oh, okay. One sec. Oh, your photo of Manny was sick. I look like a Jesus. Yeah, killing yeah. it. All right. Yeah, I already got nine. Tarzan yeah. I should do a Tarzan. Hey, Tarzan graphic. Yeah, hell yeah. Slide down a tree or something. So, all right, so I'm on Instagram night right now, and Like Chill wants to know, what are your thoughts on John Cummings? John's my boy. There it is. That's it. He's he's uh, he's the hype man. Mm-hmm. I don't care what anybody says about him. He's been nothing but nice in, to me since I ever met him, and, you know, like, he's a, he means well, he's a good person, and he's part of the MSA crew, and he's tight. You know? There it is, Like Chill. He's crazy, but he's a man. I have different feelings towards John. <laughs> But that's just me. <laughs> but I grew up with John. Yeah, it's different. So I've known him since forever. <laughs> and I, it's not, I don't, I don't hate John by any means. But me and him just we're off and on. But that's all good. That's me personally. Hey man, I got nothing but love for the guy. He ain't nothing but nice to me. Um, <laughs> Anthony sound like the guy. Anthony's the best. The best. This is the dickhead over uh, here. I'm the hater. Anthony Sorry. Sorry, Sorry, I'm the hater. Ain't but no. at least I'm honest. Ain't, uh, ain't no hate. <laughs> At least I'm honest. I don't Come hate. On, I don't hate anyone, but me and John just we don't see eye to eye all the time. That's yeah. all that really. As long as you see eye to eye one time, that's fine. Yeah. No yeah. homo pause. I don't want John to fail or anything. I just <laughs> you do whatever he does. <laughs> no, 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 they can say uh, homo people, but <laughs> that's a whole other country. It's a free country. <laughs> Someone's going idea. buck on this one. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Do you? Con. Conardard barbarian. Wants to know how many chicks on average do you usually bang out in a single trip, and what's been your most successful trips with the ladies? You you come off like no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For some reason, he thinks you come off like a player, like a gigolo, like you uh, handle. Everybody, everybody, everybody Manny slays off. So yeah. how many? Hey, hey, everybody, everybody has a past. I now, <laughs> I now have a future and can't ruin that, so I am not going to answer that question because if Michelle saw us, well she would kick my ass. There you well go. played, well played. So, but I had a pass, remember that. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Who wants to know that anyways, yeah. man? That's a good question. Yeah. Thank you. It's entertaining, but damn. Appreciate it. He's looking for something to jerk off to. That. <laughs> That's all he wants is some mental He wants some memory bank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's just blinking Man, he tells him this, like, real skinny <laughs> story, uh, like, oh, that's awesome. That's what he envisions. <laughs> oh, identity, skate shop. Dude. Yeah, right. Rice, what up? Um, Manny, don't you agree that T- Tony T is better than P-Rod? Seriously. <laughs> yes. Tony T, Trujillo? Who's no, he's talking about Tony Tate. Yeah. Oh, Tony Tate. I'm going to flip that question on you. No, nah, no. Nah, Crazy. That's fucked up, right? <laughs> Why is <he> crazy? <laughs> they're both really good. Yeah, they, they're both. They, they both, both have really good switch yeah. trades. Yeah. yeah, I'll say that yeah. right now. They're For good, sure. right? And no one's better than you, though, when you yeah. actually skate. He shreds. He shreds, dude. For With sure. the helmet on at Rye. I have video <laughs> of it. Don't even... I'll post that on the YouTube channel. <laughs> is Tony... Is, is, a, is Tony from out in Cali, right? Is he a Cali person? I think he's talking about Tony Trujillo. Oh, he is. This, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Tony Tate. All right. No, I tried to flip it on him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tony Trujillo shreds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I can see where they quote. I asked the question now. Yeah. Um. Oh shit! Someone wants to know. Morgan. Someone wants to know where can I buy the hat he has on. I I like. He needs it. All Which I need. One? He wants your hat that you're wearing. The swerve hat. This one. It's a flat flat fitty hat. Uh, you can probably search it. On Google, or you can go to flatfitty.com. They got Instagram too. Or yeah, they got Instagram at flatfitty. You can search it. I'm, it's somewhere. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, but don't yet. don't get it, dude. Yeah, don't. you want all I need. You want all I need, or, <laughs> or MSA, many, or many MSA. Yeah, I got an MSA flat fifty hat coming out. There you week, go. So. There you go. If you really want to, just search for it and find that shit. Yeah. Stop asking questions. Oh, so Tom wants to know if you ate at No Prob yet, which we already covered. Not yet, but he's coming. Yeah. But I will. Yeah, I know sure. about the burrito and the sauces, and you guys got your own pro menu. 
Yeah, yeah dude. Insane. So good. No problem. That's <laughs> the best, dude. This was like the fastest we got questions, dude. I got a couple on my end. Yeah, man, definitely pull them up. Hand, hand them over to Ramsey and pull yeah. them up. Yeah, Ramsey, yeah, 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 I'll take it. Oh, yeah, you got um, some questions. I'll just go on your Yeah, you just go on my Instagram, at Manny Slato. Uh, Jack, <laughs> Jack Lima 123 wants to know why you're so sick and can you get an autograph? Uh, I mean, thank you if you think I'm sick. I just try to entertain you guys out there. And when I, if you ever see me, yeah, just come up to me and ask. I'm, I He's believe, pretty approachable, yeah, I'm, for I, sure. I believe like everybody else. I yeah. don't have like a bubble around me or any kind of force field. So I just it. walk right up and ask. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that you appreciate my skating. But Hell yeah. I do it to entertain from, uh, Set seventy seven says what what inspired you to start skating? Uh actually, uh I used to go to a boys and girls club when I was a kid and then my town built these uh cement situate parks. Oh god, I fucking hate those parks. Yeah. They're fun. But, but, yeah. Oh, but if it wasn't for those parks I would have never really started it because then my, my good friends stopped going to the boys' club and started skating. And then uh, they gave me hand-me-down boards and stuff. Oh, yeah. And once I stepped on my first board, I remember it was green shove it, gullwing trucks, see-through green wheels. Hardware was longer than ever. I had to drill extra holes for the hardware oh, because shit. the gullwing trucks were longer. Yeah. And uh, once I stepped on the board and I realized that I couldn't ollie the first day, I was hooked. Yeah, you were like, I got to get this. Yeah, and then I was once, the same way. Yeah, it was <laughs> ever since that day, I hadn't, I hadn't stopped. Yeah, once, yeah. You, once everyone, once you figure out, like, once you see an ollie, you just, yeah. like, what it was the fuck? end of my freshman year of high school too, right around the end of it, May, May of 2000 and, uh, 2000, May mm, of 2000, yeah. 13 years. Yeah. And, uh, where did you start? Was it up in Lowell? Yeah, or? in Lowell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. At that time I was in Lowell, yeah. How was, how was growing up in Lowell? How was that? It was, my, at my town, it's pretty, it's pretty sketchy, just like any town it has mm -hmm. its bad and it's good. I, I was raised in kind of a bad area, and, uh, so I kind of got along with everybody, so when I did the like turn into a skater like I was now Manny the skater but I was cool with everybody so everywhere I went I didn't have problems you know so yeah, that's tight. but it was dope man it, it just showed you that you had to really you had to really struggle and like fight to get out of where you, you're from you know like a little town in Massachusetts no one never yeah. know, just you know yeah. just like everybody else where we came from Lowell has Lowell has a tight knit like skate crew though there's, yeah there's, we definitely just, yeah, you got I got, I got blessed yeah I got blessed with a good crew coming yeah. up uh, Dave Pachinski and then uh a bunch of the homies back then, Nick John Mars, John Coyne, like uh, they were the Barricka guys, and freaking Justin Hogan was our Hogan. mentor. Yeah, he was the one that when we were started skating, he was really good doing switchback tails on the big ledges, like Nolly from Nosa, everything was crazy. Dude, I never knew that. I was yeah, filming he, with him, I didn't even know, he, and then he showed me he some was, shit. He's so good. Yeah. Like switch tail, switch 270, flip out, like, and he saw something in us, and he just went like gathered us and was like, all right, we're going to make a video, which was our first video was Nor'easter. Oh, and yeah. then it was one year of filming and we put it out and then we did Thanks Camera 1, then we did Thanks Camera 2, then we did Thanks Camera 3, then we, it just went on and on. Every right. year we put out one video and if it wasn't for Justin, it, it wouldn't have motivated us to do anything. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. That was really, his videos are awesome and all those videos are awesome. Yeah. I used to film him when he, when it would be a trick for his part. I filmed this whole Thanksgiving part. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like the, it was like Batman and Robin, you know what I'm Filmer saying? Filmer cred, you get yeah, some or yeah, what? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> I broke what? the light one time in Boston. Oh, so shit. <laughs> what, what's your favorite spot in Lowell? What would you say your favorite uh, spot was growing up? There was always Jack Kerouac. You yeah, been the Marble Butters. Yeah. yeah, so good. We always like going there, but for me, really much, it was just cruising around downtown because they had like, it was always like I would, I would always, I knew a lot of people, so I'd always run into somebody. So it was dope to go from spot to spot and be like, yo, yo, what up? And like, as long as we got to skate somewhere, that was my favorite. Just skating low and in, in general, you know. Hell yeah, it was dope. That's fucking awesome. That yeah. place is cool and. Uh, it's funny when we went there. Were you with us, Ramsey, when yeah. we went there? And remember the dude? Hey, like, shit. Trying to skate over the bridge. I didn't pay attention to the big gap. Me, uh, <laughs> me and Timmy Knuth, and I was just pushing real hard and almost <laughs> got hit by a car, yeah. yeah. There was some dude there that was less definitely oh, that, that, homeless dude. Yeah, that, like, he was like, he was yeah, cool, but my dad got money. I just don't want to. He tried to give us money. Yeah, he tried. He tried. He was like taking cigarettes, and he was like, take $2. And I was like, no, nah, dude, you take the cigarette. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? He's like, you disrespect me not taking my yeah. $2. He's like, I got money. 
Yeah. He's like, I choose to live like this. Yeah, yeah. some people are like that. Hey, dude. I he was, come but he was cool as fuck. Yeah. He, he told us like, about hooking up with the uh, prostitutes and yeah. we fell in love with them and he had to like ditch her because she yeah. was in love with them. <laughs> Shit, it was crazy, dude. It that's crazy. Crazy. Hey, you know the movie The Fighter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's low. That's low. Hell, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole time we were there, we were quoting the movie, yeah. dude. I was, you would. Uh, I was actually... A lot of those streets were streets that I skated down the opening scene where they're like joking about it yep. and they start boxing. That street is a street I took every day to Hadley. Damn. Every day, right after school, I'd go home, I'd take a shit, grab my clothes, and I'd be out the door. <laughs> every day, same routine. First one to Hadley, skate until it got dark and then skate home. Yeah, yeah Lowell's like a tight knit crew. Like yeah. the whole, the whole, the whole neighborhood, town, everything. Yeah. Just, I really think that each other. making those videos just build up, built up such a scene up there. It's pretty rad to go. Like we went to a Boardwalk one time and they had a video premiere, and it was like the Lost Boys, like Peter Pan. Like there was so many young kids, people were smoking, drinking, like yeah. hanging out. And there's just kids running everywhere and like adults and kids, but it was just like I felt like I was in Peter Pan with the yeah. Lost Boys. It was like this is so sick. It was like skate. Skate Neverland shit. Yeah, like, it's crazy. So many heads. Have dude. you uh, have you ever shot guns with John Coyne? Oh hell yeah. Nah. John Coyne well, kills it, dude. Nah. His guns are because the thing is like, I I skate from when I wake up to yeah. when I fall asleep, and like the other guys have hobbies. Like Matt Fennell likes to go mud in. Coyne yeah. likes to shoot. Clem likes to shoot. Dave likes to go taking photos in the woods. Like he likes to go like camping all the time. Yeah. And me, I skate from when I wake up to when I go to sleep and. I never got into doing all that. Just one time. Plus, no, and plus, when I, uh, he wasn't shooting guns at the time I was living there. Oh, right. It wasn't right. like a, It wasn't as bad as it is. Or it is now, where he would just. That's his hobby. Like yeah. he was skating or he's shooting guns. He well, just told me. I actually just saw him at uh, Elliot's uh, premiere. Yeah. The, the natural selection. Yeah, natural natural selection. selection. Look out. He was like, selection. dude. Yeah, I just got an AK. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did? He just oh, I think you told me that. Like, RP. And I was like, he was like, you gotta come shoot it with me. I was like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm down. That's crazy. No, I, RP got the AR-15. Oh, he's got the 15, yeah. Dude, him the AK is totally dead. Yeah. AK is like... Him and Clem made like a treat for a house. By, up top. Yeah, the little behind Coin's house. And they just sit there for like mm-hmm. hours and wait for something to move. And they That's shoot. where he said he it's got crazy. the... <laughs> <laughs> like hours. He took us there. We went and saw his stand and shit. I was like, yeah. to me, it's insane. He said he but sat up there. Like, what was that like that cat bit no it's not it's like a cat he said it's like he said he shot like some cat it's like not a bobcat it's not like a mountain lion type thing yeah like some they're crazy he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be saying it when he watches this (laughs) i remember i one time went to his house and he brought me downstairs and they actually i think it was a they tried to fur uh a squirrel like yeah, they cut, cut it, they peeled it, peel it, it they gil- and then they left it in salt, and they tried to follow the procedure to try to keep it as like a Preserve floor it. mat. Oh, you know, man, like no that, yeah, like they tried to make like a hat out of it. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. wear a squirrel hat. Yeah. <laughs> New Manny Slay All squirrel hat coming, coming soon. soon. Check you know, it out. Limited, yeah. only one. Killed by John Coyne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got more questions coming in, and, and uh, we kind of got to get into them because uh, they're right. coming in hot. So I want to make sure we get them all. All right. Upgrade. Oh, God. He's... We got Felix in the background. <laughs> he's has the question. He's chilling over there. <laughs> the legend, man. He's in the background. Hell yeah. Trust me. He's right there. Yeah, if you see a pair of the camel pants, they're Felix. Yeah, he's <laughs> walking by, man. You guys know the licks. Um, we got, does Manny think Gavin is as good as PJ? Oh, my God. They got some good questions <laughs> putting them on blast today. That's, that's good. I mean, Gavin is a prodigy of PJ since he grew up looking up to him, but ain't nobody touching PJ. Well, that's that's how I feel about it. I think Gavin's awesome. And yeah, I'm no, he's, like, he's good at skating, he's but insane. PJ started the whole shit, so. Yeah, and the thing is, like, people see the the flippity in, flippity out now, like, it's a crazy big deal. I remember seeing a Element, like, sponsor me video of PJ doing, like, have Cal Smith backside flip, fakey, fakey, even fakey Willie, fakey flip. Like I remember Hogan telling me one time he was at uh, he was at Navy Yard and PJ was there skating by himself, going fast as hell, just doing nollie when they switch through fakey flip, not even filming it. And that was before one of the horrible life. Yeah. So imagine, you know what I'm saying? Like, Gavin, you the man, but PJ is he's got. He influenced a lot, right? Into yeah. that. That's a good question, for PJ's <laughs> yeah, a good dude. Because I heard the other day at Jaquan, which is the California Love Park. Spoiler. Gavin was there doing a Spoiler. nolly whoop, whoop. front crook, the like 20 foot ledge, the whole thing, and then nolly back heel out perfect. Yeah, and nobody was even filming it. I think Felix said Caleb Josh came Caleb's up on an iPhone clip. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the thing about PJ that I really liked too was like, 
he that he just skated the street with that type of tech. Like, yeah, it was like did. you didn't see people. I never saw anyone like cruising down the street in a line like with yeah. something that tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. keep going, and then yeah. you know what I mean. Like that was insane to Remember me. Remember when he made the fakey flips and nolly flip shifties like, like dope, trendy, yeah. and the fakey bigger super flip, yeah. yeah, and all that. Like that video was, part had a moment in skateboarding. Yeah, for sure. People, I remember for a while uh, I was hearing that. That's the video that like Mikey Taylor, Paul, and everyone would watch before they would go skate. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, dude. That's and really it's like, tight. You know, it's he's he set the trends. He doesn't follow them in the sense. Dude, the tricks. East Coast man, don't sleep on the East Coast, dude. <laughs> East Coast got that shit locked down. Yeah, I was thinking Zara, Zara's from Massachusetts. Yeah. Nobody saying, know dude. that. Zara's from Chatham, Mass. Yeah. Chatham, Mass, dude. Yeah, and he, dude, Vicious Cycle part was. Yeah, crazy. crazy. Oh, man. I heard some rumors today about Vicious Cycle too. Yeah. Some new shit coming it's out. Ja- uh, Jared actually used to skate for World Industries Flow, dude. Back in the day, when I first met him, he was he was on Split Flow, World Industries Flow, and I remember when New York asked him to skate for him, he asked me, he was like, "Yo, should I do it?" And I'm like, "Dude, it's fucking New York." And back then, New York was what it was yeah. the shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, like, I don't really care, but back then it was like, "Dude, that's the New York, like yeah, that's yeah. the East Coast brand," you know. And I was like, "Dude, you gotta do it, like, so sick." Yeah. And uh, he was riding for Osiris, and, uh, and he was doing. Uh, 360 early grab, 360 no footers over spines and shit at a skate park. Like I never seen anything like that before. And he was what like, little, back, back in Chatham, back. Chatham. 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 Yeah. First time I ever saw him was at Scatham. He was doing fucking Scatham? like Christ Chatham. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That's the that's, lager. That's the Tampa and beer talking right there. Yeah, Ramsey's going for it today. He's dude, not, I've been going he's not for fully it. I've been Tampa, kind of but... drinking like all day, but they opened that open bar at six o'clock, and I've been indulging. But. Yeah, first time I saw Zach, dude, he was doing Christ dance over the fucking spine. Yeah, it's Zach, crazy. That's insane. Like when he was and little, like, he skated vert and shit. That was when like I was playing Tony Hawk and like doing Christ dance and like <laughs> pressing three buttons to do it, and I'm like, this motherfucker's doing Christ dance over the spine like, for fun. Yeah. But just just cause he can. That's crazy. All right, um, Neil Smith, twenty three. Does he still enjoy playing with Le- Legos? Hell yeah! I don't do it as much as I used to, but. Uh, Ocean's about to be in Lego age, and uh, I best believe me and him are gonna have some good times. Hell yeah, and Lego's like stepped it up since we were little. They yeah, got so like fucking that. We get to build themes and shit. We could do, we could do Lego skate parks. Yeah, it's crazy. So instead of buying them tech deck ramps, we build. Build this shit. Yeah, build yeah. his Lego ramps. Yeah, because so. when you were young, it was like Legos. You just got that one box with yeah. Legos, and you just had to use your imagination. Now yeah. they plan it out for yeah. you. You get it, you build whatever they tell you. That's, a, that, that's like a throwback question. That yeah. person must know me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something about Legos. He must have fought, he must have read something somewhere, because that's definitely an old uh, OG question. That, Legos. That, goes, that goes as far back as when Hogan asked me one time if I was a heterosexual Mariah Carey fan, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think it was a For the Crew interview. That's yeah. a good one too. Yeah. What's the story? What's uh, the deal? I'm a Mariah Carey fan. I can't yeah. open. I would Butterfly? Butterfly? Carey. Butterfly? All that sounds funny. Oh yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Funny with the locks, the remix? Yeah. That's oh, just yeah, that's yeah. right. See? That's yeah. what's up, dude. <laughs> that's what's up. Everybody could go out the whole now, huh? <laughs> yeah, the gold suit and shit. Mariah. Yeah. Would you say you had a question? I had a question, but I, at first I want to say Legos are too fucking expensive nowadays. Yeah, yeah. well, because they ha- they figured out how to make it more expensive. They're like, Crazy. you get the Harry Potter Legos, Crazy. now you're paying for Harry Potter. I went to buy Legos. this little, like, I'd get my Star Legos and draw my own Harry Potter. Potter. It was like $40, $40 <laughs> just for this little tiny thing. Yeah. came with one guy. Fuck yeah, so we, we, one might, guy. we might not be playing with Legos. <laughs> I'll take that back. You'll be making your own Legos yeah, out of rocks. Gonna, <laughs> I got a question yard. from uh, I do. <laughs> Tony Rita. He says, uh, oh, yeah. what up, Tony? What's your, what's your favorite part about being a pro skater? Uh, really, just like seeing the reactions. Like today, I had a lot with the kids. Like when like you first walk by them, it just reminded me of being when I would see people. Like they were just like almost, they I actually had, which is weird, like stopped and just eyes opened up and just watched me walk by. And I just like look at him, like, what up, man? And he's just like, hey, what's up? And it was like weird, but just the fact that I can get kids hyped and awesome. not even skating, they like just walking by, I just get kids hyped, and they're just like, you know. And the fact someone hit me up and on Twitter, and they were like, you know, after watching you skating and stuff, you inspired me to start skating again, and stuff like that. The fact uh, that I can make a difference, yeah. actually, the fact that I can make a difference somewhere just by my skateboard, is the best part about being a pro skater. Like making a difference in Puerto Rico for the Prince of Puerto yeah, Rico yeah. stuff, like being able to give back, uh, being able to motivate somebody like that. That's better than any kind of prize, any kind of whatever it comes with being a pro skater. Like yeah. Being being able to make a difference somewhere is probably the best 
But yeah, man, I agree with that. I was watching a kid today because I, I was he was off to the side watching all the pros skate, and I could just see in his face he's just. He would just look at all the pros going by, and I could just see like a fire in his eyes. Like yeah. he was getting so hyped and inspired, and like looking up to these dudes. And I was just like, that kid could stick with it and like fall in yeah. love and do something with it. Like, yeah, he was definitely yeah, like, I I seen it right in his eyes. I was like, damn, I remember that. Like when I was little, you just look at skating and you you're just like, this is the best, awesome it's thing. The best thing ever. And then yeah. you find out you could turn pro, which is like. What I could do something I love and actually yeah. make money and like not go yeah. work some shitty job or even if you have to work some shitty job you can still, still do stay, it yeah. even but not turn pro.